Oh, oh my. Man, his art is mine. Lord to mouth. Why? Mrs. Artist, Lord to mouth. So hot at this time. You know what I'm saying? The reason why Mrs. Artist is real hot right now, because we've been hot. You know what I'm saying? Understand, G. Y'all already know what it do. As soon as y'all run up in these eyes, why my lights up? Give me hype, bro. Y'all already know I'm safe, hype, stuff, and that's what it do. You understand, G? But, um, these are artists, man. We've been with them, man, on the map forever. It's just so many artists hitting it one time right now. You know what I'm saying? Understand, G? You know what I'm saying? Because we've been had that hustle. You know what I'm saying? We've been had the hustle by last year. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. As soon as y'all run up in this thing, y'all run them lights so give me hype for y'all already know I'm stay piped up, man. You know what I'm saying? I'm saying G. But right now, Memphis got the juice and this is what it is. You know what I'm saying? So man, you know what I'm out. From from all the way back to three six days and three six ways, the beats how they were coming with the beats and everything. From back then, man, like We've been popping, you know what I'm saying? We've been popping. Y'all already know what to do. Salute to everybody running up in this time, man. Y'all running them like fucking me hyped up. Y'all already know I'm going to say hyped up Memphis. Y'all already know what it is in town. Well, the real hit me sound. You know what I'm saying? The time to everybody who's seeing the moves I'm making and salute the real can't all be fine. Everything I'm doing like that. But, uh, and then, you know, Memphis just been popping. From 3 6, you know what I'm saying? From clear fly, I always made a clear fly that is, you know what I'm saying? Really, I feel clear fly that even be his his trans would be one of the top artists he could have been, you know what I'm saying? Guy. But at the same time, though, now Memphis is on a whole nother level. Y'all see, saying, G, I've been on a whole nother level, you know what I'm saying? We, we just got the horse in our blood. You know what I'm saying? Our bloodline. You know what I'm saying? Because we have been putting on and we just been getting it. We've been getting it out of the mud like that. You know what I'm saying? So, everybody who's been watching Memphis, they seen what's really going on in Memphis now. You know what I'm talking about? we've been doing our thing. You know what I'm saying? The kings of Memphis, you know what I'm saying? They put it down. There's so many kings of Memphis. We can't just not, we just can't put one king of Memphis, you know what I'm saying, in the city, man. It's just everybody sharing their throne, man. You know what I'm talking about? Because we've been on, you understand? Know so, bam, you got, you know what I'm talking about? The young dude coming out of the woodwork with real hard music, and it's basically music that's been recycled, and, and they coming with the whole stuff. Like, this is how it is. So, everybody who, you know what I'm talking about, everybody who been watching me, y'all know me has been a city to be living with. You know what I'm talking about? And I ain't gonna keep saying, you know what I'm saying, like everybody else been saying, my neighbors, you know, we, 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 are, we are a city that everybody wants, you know what I'm talking about, copy. But at the same time, when we doing the right thing, of course you're gonna be copy. You know what I'm talking about? But you just gotta have your own husband in the guy. You see them. Yeah, guys, the past skinny count, DJ Squeezy Talk, Ski Man, all them folks, you know what I'm saying? So, but they like a lot of folks thinking, you know what I'm saying? The way in New York, like Memphis just started yesterday, you know what I'm saying? Eight ball and MJG. Man, we got so many pioneers that put it down, you know what I'm talking about? And everybody's just doing their own thing. And that Memphis got the time, you know what I'm saying? Either. Even when you look at what I'm doing right now, you know what I'm talking about? Like, a lot of folks didn't see the hustle at first, but now they like, this man is easy. Like, y'all cold the way he do. And I'm going to stay cold the what I do. Project player, 
Like, I don't know for you know what I'm saying? Maybe you got a real big foundation. You know what I'm saying? Man? We got a whole lot of people signing in Memphis Cats, man, because they know we coming with it. You know what I'm saying? So, as long as we keep coming with it, man, we ain't got no twist but to hit the top. And y'all just seeing a little peek of, like, you know what I'm saying? Just a little bit of it right now. Y'all just keep y'all eyes open. You know what I'm saying? Like, part of the podcast world says, Z, I'm a Memphis big dog. And everybody already know around the city, they know what's over here. You know what I'm saying? Like, Memphis ain't like just in one line. We spread the game out. You know what I'm saying? Entertainment, man, you know what I'm saying? Because we ain't got too many major entertainment that came out of the city. But there's a lot of entertainers in the city that's doing their thing. You know what I'm talking about? And now y'all finna see the other side of Memphis. You know what I'm saying? And that's what I love about the city right now. We get the time that we're supposed to be getting. You know what I'm saying? So, everybody who knows somebody out there doing y'all yeah, thing, especially in the film, like, keep pushing hard because right now it's about time to time. Like, you know what I'm saying? I see what uh, a lot of these other cities doing. Like Detroit, I salute Detroit too, though. You know what I'm saying? Like, uh, them kids coming out of Detroit, they coming hard. You know what I'm saying? And a lot of folks say Memphis, you know what I'm saying? And Detroit is like one in the same almost. You know what I'm saying? They just on another side of it, you know? But at the same time, though, Memphis and Detroit, they say, you know, we got similarities. You know what I'm saying? But, uh, I mess with everybody in me who's doing their time. You know what I'm talking about? Because we doing. Oh, man. What it do? Y'all run up on this time, man. I'm feeling this somebody up in this time, man. Y'all already know what it is. Let me drop this, uh, this tag on y'all, man. So y'all come up in this time. You know what I'm saying? So y'all just come up in this time. Speak to real and tell you people what it is, man. You know what I'm saying? And one thing about me, I'm going to show the shine, and that's what I'm going to do. You know what I'm talking about? And that's how you keep the city pumping. You know what I'm saying? You know I'm the heart of the South. I'm going to keep the whole South pumping. But at first it started off in Memphis, so I was the heart of the city. Now I'm the heart of the South. You know what I'm saying? So we're going to keep it pumping. Just like that. Y'all run them lights up. Give me hype for y'all. I'm going to take pipes off. Oh, my! <laughs> Sorry, I know what it do. But, uh... Like, like my guy, my Memphis is big pressure. You see him? Real talk. You know what I'm saying? Like, like we got, we, we, we in a whole other mind state, and everybody see his money floating around me because there's so many big artists. It's, you know what I'm saying? Putting the bag behind these other artists, and his money floating around the city. Like, real money floating around the city right now in all types of ways. You know what I'm saying? So the more money the city, man, the more money the city getting, the more we are gonna see better artists coming out of the city. Y'all gonna see more versatile artists coming out of the city. You know what I'm talking about? Like Duke, Duke, he he took it all the way back. I like how he doing his side because he sound, he got that old nigga sound. He bringing that flavor back to the city, that crunk that he was in. You know what I'm saying? Just bringing that whole, the whole nine back. You know what I'm saying? So. Y'all gonna see a whole, like, everything can come in the circle. You know what I'm talking about? Everything in the circle, right? You know what I'm talking about? So, whatever happened back then, man, it's gonna happen again. You understand, G? Um, let me let me let you in this job, my guy. My what dude, MC, what's good, my nigga? What's real, my guy? Nah, same old shit, just a different day. You know what I'm saying? Same shit, different toilet. You feel me? I feel you, my G. You from yeah. the city, nah, right? Nah, no, no, no. I got love for the city. I got, I got one of my best friends. He from, uh, he from the city. You know what I'm saying? He went to, uh, what it called, Fairly. You know, he from like South Fairly. Memphis, down at the corner from. Uh, yeah, I went to Fairly. Uh, I went to Fairly Elementary. Yeah, I'm from yeah, the so, yeah, I got I got much love for goddamn Memphis, but I would just be trying to tell, you know, going back on what you were saying, just about how um Memphis uh Memphis got them 
y'all music scene like help our music scene like i'll be one of the first to admit it like far as atlanta like the crunk shit came from the book shit you know what i'm saying like that that gangster walking mm-hmm. in the club you know what i'm talking about like that, that, yeah. that's what we got there from and like a lot of atlanta niggas like we grew up on goddamn a ball mjg all that shit so memphis supposed to been on top for a long time but it ain't um it ain't the outside people it's the memphis people you know what I'm saying? It's like what I was saying in the uh in the chat. It's like um, you know, Memphis is a small place, and when it's gang banged out, it's like a nigga got to choose side. So if the heads, if the heads of the city can get together and make shit to where people can work together without it having to be a nigga picking sides, Memphis is supposed to bend on top because y'all, y'all really like the um. You know, like y'all the blueprint for this shit, to be honest, and I ain't no capping ass nigga with that shit. Yeah, a lot of people I, don't want to admit that. No, nah, I mean we are we all grown, man, because we all love the same music. It's still what what Pimp said, this the country rap tunes, you feel what I'm saying? Like this down yeah. south shit, you know what I'm saying? Like this our shit. Like it ain't just um like New York niggas, uh West Coast niggas, and I ain't this none of these niggas, but they got their own type of swag, you feel what I'm saying? But Myth as far as like in our area from like New Orleans to to Atlanta, Alabama, like we we came up on that goddamn play of fly. You know what I'm saying? We came up on that goddamn yeah. ball. Of so I just want to give a shout out to Memphis because I got real love for Memphis, and I ain't gonna be no fucking hater. Like when I come through Memphis, I do tourist Memphis shit. <laughs> The Memphis is a real yeah. fucking place. I come down there, yeah. I go to the little goddamn casino. I goddamn go my homeboy house. I get some good gas from around the way, but I don't fuck around. But Memphis, if they can get out that gang banging shit and really work together, man, y'all niggas could be on top. That's a well, fact. I'm, but one thing I'm gonna tell a lot of folks ain't seeing that I'm seeing right now in Memphis, bro. It's just so big and we get so many big artists, and the minute is gonna be hard. To a beef in Memphis like that, cause you, if you really see it, like like I see it, like you know what I'm talking about, like dog the artists and guy the artists and stuff like that. Them folks they start to like link up, you know yeah. what I'm saying? Like yeah. cause they get so many artists. I look, you know what I think? I think what's good though is like how um, and I ain't trying to like you know put nobody shit, but like how like Big Thirty and Pooh Shice the homeboys, but they on two different sides of the spectrum, kind of. And how they right. made sure that they kept they shit solid. That's showing that's showing everybody a different way to do some things because them two Memphis niggas and they like, look, we finna get it back here. I'm finna get it back here. Now them two niggas, they got their own issue, but we doing this shit for us. I think mm-hmm. if if the shit if, if motherfuckers stay on that path, like Memphis will come up, like cause like Memphis ain't down. Don't get it twisted. Memphis is a place yeah. that real niggas gonna go. It's some shit in Memphis, period. Yeah. <laughs> and see, another thing I seen, I seen Pooh Shiesty and uh, the ESTG nigga from Detroit. That's why I saw yeah. Detroit, too. So I'm yeah. like, okay, this 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 Gucci artist and this guy artist kicking. Kick so it. if it ever come back together with, like, guy and Gucci and Dr. everybody that like that, man, it's going to shoot out to a whole hey, other level. Hey, look, Pete Game, I'm glad you said it, though, because, look, I think me personally, just this how I'm thinking. I'm thinking the only way that shit happened is because I think with Gucci getting older and, and Gotti getting older, I'm thinking they kind of don't put their shit aside. They might not put it publicly, but if them niggas, if they was really on some next shit, they wouldn't be that nigga all the work together. So I'm thinking like, like the I think in the real niggas are starting to put shit together. It's like real gonna have to stick with real. Memphis been real. Yeah. Memphis been fucking with Atlanta for a long time, just like Atlanta been fucking with Memphis for a long time. So we got, we just got to get past the the petty shit. You feel yeah. what I'm saying? It, it is like a pipeline. It's like Memphis had to yeah. come to Atlanta to shoot out. You know what I'm saying? And it's still that like pipeline. I ain't gonna let like, like you ain't gotta go to Atlanta to get out. You know what I'm saying? To make no, no, no. Go ahead, no, my bad. Go ahead. Yeah, to make your brand bigger. To make your brand bigger. You gotta go to other states, you know what I'm saying? And, yeah. and shoot out with other artists. And Look, that's just, that's just, that's just like that's just like the street game. Like you could you could be the biggest nick bag seller in your neighborhood, but you ain't gonna get no money until you got their branch out. You feel right. me? You feel right. me? And he, and like and you can do that if you learn how to work with other bosses. I think the issue that Memphis got is like Memphis got a whole bunch of 
gangsta ass niggas, but the bosses be running the shit. If the bosses ain't getting along, you know what I'm saying? Then the gangsters ain't gonna get along with the other gangsters. And that's where the that's where the gunplay shit come in. I'm telling you, look, the nigga Pooh Shiesty came in the game and killed the shit. But to me, B30, he, 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 the, he the hardest. But then look, you can't you can't forget about goddamn finesse two times. Two times like yeah. that. You feel what I'm saying? Yeah, like, I think he like, busted Peter like, Wide over too, though. Like, Finesse really busted Peter Wide over. No, not Finesse. It's cold, bro. Finesse yeah. cold. And it's a lot of niggas cold. It's just like, it gets to the point where, like, people got to be like, I'm going to be a fan of the music. I can't pick a side on a nigga on that shit. I want to hear the music. And Memphis got the music, man. Come on, man. I go look. Yeah. I go down. I go down that city, man. I hear. I hear Bill Street, and I see these young niggas flipping. I hear niggas playing guitars. Like that city full of music and a vibe that the world need to hear. But it's gonna take the niggas from that city to realize what they got. You feel what I'm saying? Yeah. It's, it's, yeah, it's, think, they everybody think he's gonna take a bang, but see, thing about it, like it's so it's like on both sides, not really a bang, though. Yeah. Everybody just got to no, get on, on, on one on It's like three sides. It's a bag there. But they, mm. the niggas with the bag got to be able to work together. And, and, and you know what I'm saying? Yeah. That's why I see first people like Future coming and sign people for me. You know yeah. what I'm saying? I, yeah. Gucci been rocking with me. He's been rocking with me since 12th Friday. He's yeah. been You know what I'm saying? He's been rocking back in the day. You know what I'm saying? So it, it been enough. But that's so like it got the light. Even Charlemagne is like, like my uh Memphis is one of the hottest seasons, man. You know what I'm saying? Hey. So we gonna carry the torch. Like the South been having a torch for about 20 years. Hey, look, you know we got saying? that ball, we ain't gave that bitch back. We ain't gave it back yet. Okay. That's what a lot of folks don't like about Memphis. I mean, like about, about the South period. Because well, we didn't have the ball so long. Yeah. It's like they started it or whatever. You know what I'm saying? I get them clear. They started what they started. But well, we took it on and took it to a whole nother platform. You know nah, what I'm talking about? That's, nah, that's a fact. I get, I get exactly what you're saying. I, but look, I ain't going to hold you, bro. I just want to come on here and just tell you, like, I'm going to watch you for a minute. Look, I even seen the, uh, when you was a younger nigga, you was on some show, you was got down, you know what I'm saying, pimped out, you know what I'm saying, dude. Yeah. I can't remember what it was, but every time I see you, I'm like, I fuck with you. You know, like, I seen you came on another nigga, um, I can't remember. I can't even remember the words, but you came with another nigga shit. You like nigga? I'm somebody, and I'm like, nah, nigga, that's somebody. That's it. That's Memphis right there. So, I got love for Memphis. I just want to show love to Memphis. I don't never want nobody to think that, especially Atlanta. We fuck with Memphis, and that's yeah. that's that's real. Like Atlanta, yeah. fuck with Memphis. now. Rappers do what rappers do, but Atlanta, mm -hmm. we fuck with Memphis, and that's that's the strong. We Memphis with Atlanta. I'm out here in GA right now. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, That's why I, I, I had to move out here to make sure you folks know exactly who I am. You know yeah. what I'm saying? I did a lot of stuff just to build my life. Look, a lot of folks. Look, look, but look, do what you do. Now you like say you moved to Atlanta to make sure so niggas knew what you what you who you are. Because like that's one thing Atlanta got. You know, we got all this other extra shit, right? But what you gonna do, what I know you're gonna do, you're gonna take that shit back to back to Memphis. And then it's gonna yeah. be like we're gonna be coming to Memphis to do the same shit. You feel what I'm saying? It's gonna be like a tip for the So man, Atlanta niggas got much love for Memphis and bruh. Memphis. And the crazy and thing about the world, though, fool, this internet is so cold, you can't you you can't skip over niggas no more. Like nah, we bro. sharing everything, man. That's why yeah. the word cap cap yeah. is just around the world now. Like we use yeah. that uh ops and shit like this. That's a that's Chicago word, but man, so far, like the internet the blue. Up to a whole nother proportion, you know what I'm saying? Like, we turned everything. Crunk came from triple six, you know what I'm saying? Everything, yeah. get, everything get recycled around. You just got to respect and let the motherfucker know where you got it from. As long as you do that, it's, it's all good because, like, like you know, a, a motherfucker can't reinvent the wheel, but if a motherfucker don't give you some game, you take that shit, but you just get love them folk, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. like I'm saying, like. That, and that, and that's real, man. Like, bro, y'all y'all got it. Y'all been had, y'all been had, and you can see it because mm -hmm. y'all don't get the love a lot of these people get, but y'all still end up finding a way to put that music out there. And the, and the real niggas always gonna find it. How the fuck y'all know about DJ Squeaky Tom Ski Man? I mean, how you think we found out about Eight Ball back in the day before the internet? Because yeah. that shit, that shit was popping. How you think we found out about Three Six before the internet? Because that shit was good music. It was good beats. All of that mm -hmm. shit, you know what I'm saying? Like, 
And then look, like people, they sleep on player fly. A lot of man, look, player fly got down to set the foundation for a lot of shit. And he ain't really had no commercial success, but motherfuckers know who player fly is. He, you know, because mm-hmm. he put Memphis on to me. You know what I'm saying? You know, you from Memphis, so you might think different, but player fly that, you know what I'm saying? Like, man. Yeah, we see player fly because you know they had they beat. And this, that's the yeah. thing about me, you know, because it, you might have a beef with somebody and it make your side shoot out too. You know what I'm saying? Okay. So we've been programmed yeah. to this, this type of mentality. Yeah, so and look, I get you because it's like, uh, this nigga popping. He talks shit, I'm gonna talk shit that by, by him, but it's gonna make us come up too. That's the same, but I think, like, even even with that though, I think that's like, uh, that's kind of like the blueprint a lot of these young niggas playing, but it's different now because these niggas can't even really rap, you know what I'm saying? Like, they, you know, like a lot of people, they can't even really rap, they ain't even really good producers, but they gonna shoot some shit, you feel mm-hmm. what I'm saying? So it's like they, if one nigga talks some shit. And they gonna talk some shit. They all gonna come up, but they ain't really got no talent. They ain't gonna stand the test of time. Like they ain't gonna be talk. Like we not gonna be talking about these niggas. Like we talking about player fly, and you know what I'm saying. Twenty five years later, they not gonna be talking about these niggas the same. So they got to have good music that lasts and stand the test of time, and and they gonna be all right. They gonna that's be what, all right. that's another thing I hate about for this two time because he had the music. He Man, just was two guys. Sometimes you can be two guys and miss your chance. Now nah, that's but you got another chance to come back out though. Now nah, that's a fact. Look, you can even see like the little shit. This nigga like I I don't I don't I don't share this shit on one of my little um Instagram pages like five times when the nigga did the little freestyle. The last one he dropped when he was in prison. I'm like, man, this man too cold. He he's supposed to be. What money bag yo is, and I ain't got no problem with money bag yo because he's fine, you know what I'm saying? Even though they yeah. had some issues or whatever, but he's supposed to be right there. But he was too gangster at, at that yeah. time. But like, that's why I'm going back to what I'm saying about Memphis. I can't really not finesse two times because he had to be gangster because y'all, you know, it's like, like, say, Atlanta, yeah. like Atlanta, one of the places where it's money everywhere in every pockets. But in Memphis, like, a nigga take your gangster card. The fuck you 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 got to you got to keep your gangster card so yeah. nigga gonna have to do what he gotta do so man that shit did crazy. That's why too many folks in Memphis ain't got caught up in you don't hear too much that went down with them Memphis cat because we already thinking like that because we going against our own city you know what yeah, I'm saying for sure like, and so if you can make it out of Memphis you can make it anywhere you know nah, what I'm saying now that's a fact because like, yeah. first we had to I move mean, around. I'd have been all around, definitely all around the South. And I'd have been, I'd have been out West for a little bit, Midwest. But I always tell people like, we reason I got so much love for Memphis in general is because like everybody I'd have met in Memphis is genuine. But I tell anybody like Memphis ain't no place to fuck around with. It's like if you if you if you a good person, them folks gonna treat you like a good person. But you ain't finna come take no trip. You ain't finna disrespect nobody. And think it ain't gonna be what it's gonna be because yeah. that's what they living for. It's like nigga, yeah. these niggas, you know what I'm saying? Like it ain't no see, fucking thing. And about it, yeah. That's what we you know what I'm saying. Of course, that we love, but that's so much money circulating through the city. And I leave out the city, I see everywhere like that. Like yeah. it's it's a lot of my zone sticks, it's, it's, it's niggas cut folk out though. You know what I'm saying? Oh no, don't that's get that. Don't don't get it twisted. <laughs> shit, shit, shit. Like Atlanta, one of the places where it's a little different. Like say Memphis is Memphis, but Atlanta got a um, we got a buckhead a down. To, we got like a money district. If you understand what I'm saying, like so, these places zones like it's a bunch of places like that in my city, man. Where this shit is, it's yeah, nigga, it, it, it's going down. But Memphis is like nigga, everybody trying to get that. They trying to get to that same one building, or they trying to get to the same, the same uh, the same three heads. They they trying to get there, so they gonna trying to get there. They gonna choose a side. You feel what I'm saying? So once they yeah. choose that side, they you can't really work with nobody else. But in in, yeah. in Atlanta, it's like nigga, I can move, I can go all the way around here and and get to the same place without having to even really go too deep into it like that. Now we just own some street shit. And that's just what it gonna be. Like zone city nigga gonna do what they do. West side nigga gonna do what they do. But when it comes to the business, we try to keep the business 
to where to where it's at. You feel what I'm saying? The beard, the beard is the beard. Yeah, we the try to we don't care about beard. We will mess the beard in this up. We well, I won't mess the beard in this up. That's how we were thinking at first. But I see everybody growing though. Like folks starting to see that why I kind of that why I was like money bad yo is a good business man. You know what I'm saying? And folks was not gonna be saying he ain't just, I ain't I ain't saying he the most gangster thing in the world. But he a good business man because he done work with so many artists. You know what I'm saying? No matter what side. Yeah, he ain't, gotta, he ain't gotta be the that's what I'm saying. Like, he ain't gotta be the biggest gangster. That's what I'm saying. Like, he ain't gotta be the biggest gangster. Like, he just gotta put his people on. Like, he got some gangster niggas around to put them on, so they ain't got to they ain't got to be gangster like that no more. Like a, a gangster in you. I'm 42 years old, bro. I own my own plumber company. I got a wife, a daughter. You feel what I'm saying? I'm gangster, but I ain't gangster, bro. I'm just, I'm just a man. You feel what I'm saying? Like, yeah. and I'm like, I'm trying to, I'm trying to work with people that want to get money. Like, I can't, like, I'm not, man. Come on, man. Nobody trying to be doing all this dumb shit forever. You feel what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah I just been for them white folks and many the offers and and big in the time to be. So I yeah. gotta, you gotta know how to, you gotta know how to come out there. You know what I'm saying? You gotta know how to play your role when exactly. you get it to a certain spot. You know what I'm saying? You can't just stay. One way all your life, you know what exactly. I'm saying? Cause this has so many exactly. niggas dying, me to go to jail for life. Cause they try exactly. to stay in one line their whole life, and they don't understand. My, you know, you gotta move and and, and go shake hands with with, with people in a, on a whole nother level. You know what I'm saying? Exactly. And that's why that's why don't you know what I'm saying? Like don't he he a great artist, he a great person who you know what I'm saying? Showed the city uh, on the independent route, but. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? If he would have had a major label behind him, like right now, he would have been one of the top artists. You know hey, what I'm saying? I'm gonna tell you some real shit. I'm gonna tell you some real shit. And like, I'm a um, I ain't gonna lie. I'm a, I'm a I'm a Yo Gotti fan for when that nigga was Lil Yo. Like the first yo. time I, I knew about Lil uh, Yo Gotti is a video. This nigga was like in a barbershop or some shit, mouth full of goals, kind of some nigga. But that's when I became a fan of him. But if 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 Young Dolph would have kind of maneuvered like Yo Gotti maneuvered. I think Dolph might be bigger than Dolph might be bigger than Yo Gotti right now because this how the shit played out. This is like um look at Gucci. Look at Gucci man. Look at Gucci Man and Jeezy, right? Gucci yeah. Gucci man pretty much went up against a giant, but he won that bitch. And that's why you see who on top now. Gucci man. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But Gucci yeah. Gucci wasn't the person where he's like, yeah, he independent, but he finna goddamn try to get this money from everybody. And like, I ain't just trying to be independent. Look, you want to buy this nigga? You want to do this? We can do that. I think if Dolph would have did that and not just being so firm on just this one little thing, he would be bigger than Gotti. But that don't take nothing away from what he did because they both got fucking millions. Yeah. You feel what I'm saying? And he really making more money on the back end if the numbers don't show. You know yeah, what I'm yeah. saying? Like, look, you look, know, he, they put... he he look, he sell if 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 he sell thirty thousand, got to sell three hundred thousand. They getting the same amount of money. You know what I'm saying? Cause they they yeah. they, they, they both bought but he ain't got to split it up so much. You feel what I'm saying? Yeah. 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 And see, thing about it, like you know, they try to put Dolph and in uh money bag yo and get his on his last album. Yeah. And you know, money bag yo got the number one. You know what I'm saying? He he sold over hundred thousand. Now I think Dolph hit about, bag, yeah, and Dolph hit about, I think like 58,000. If folks don't understand that bag on, on Dolph, on Dolph that has, his bag was bigger because That's a fact. money bag, you don't got to spit, you know, he under three red Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Be endless, and he under uh, the Atlantic, or whatever, whatever record label is, Atlantic, you know what I'm saying? Mm. But, I feel like man, they just really kicking the doors in for the young dudes. Man, the young dudes gonna take it to a whole nother level. You know what I'm saying? Know. Like a full size with big fetish, and you know what I'm saying? Hold like that. Uh, now it's a bunch of other niggas. Like, uh, what's the other young nigga, man? What's the other young nigga, man? Cause I fuck with him on Instagram. He he fuck with one of them camps, but he hard as fuck too, man. I got I gotta think of his name cause it's so much talent in Memphis, but uh. Damn, I can't think of this nigga name. I hate to say I can't think of it, but like Memphis got um the fuck is that nigga name? But he, oh he so say your name, say something. You say uh my he, I know, 
I know he a young nigga. He grilled out, but before he was grilled out, I just I caught this nigga on Instagram. He was first popping maybe like two years ago. But um uh, all the niggas popping and then be all popping. Huh? You say, come on, casino? Nah, nah, not casino, not casino, not casino. And it ain't it ain't big skull cause big skull popping it. It ain't like great moochie. It's another little young nigga. He got a mouth full of all uh, platinum and shit right now. But it's a young nigga. He fought with um I ain't gonna get the line, but the nigga, the nigga popping. When I remember it, I'm I'm I'ma shoot you a text. But that nigga popping like Memphis got so much talent and all of them niggas, the way they coming up, all of them gonna be bosses. You feel what I'm saying? They all put themselves in position cause like that chopper gang shit, that's gonna be something. By itself, oh, yeah. you know what I'm saying. But yeah. besides 1017, it's gonna be like a young money, cash money shit. You feel know what I'm saying? Like that chop yeah. is gonna be some because they don't put a stamp on the shit. They doing that shit. They gonna just like uh, what Pusha said. He was like, um, I don't want to pick between uh, 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 CME and you know Dolph. No, I want to make Chopper Gang to be a part of that three. Eventually, like Memphis gonna have like five heads. But if if they can get the shit together and make sure don't nobody kill nobody. It's gonna be yeah. millions of dollars in that bitch. And see, that will hurt the game anyway, man. If anything like that happens, and I ain't trying to say nothing like that gonna happen. Nah, God forbid. Anything God like forbid. that go, yeah, uh, it's gonna start a major war in the city. But nothing like that ain't gonna happen. We're gonna speak that to existence. Men is gonna stay on top of their business. Yes. And everybody gonna stay split up. You know what I'm saying? And the worst thing that did happen was that God did not be, and when Dow got shot, I think if Dow wouldn't have got shot, they could have worked it out. You know what I'm saying? Nah, and for that's real. Thing I after really after the shoot thing. shit, it was over with. And then that nigga, uh, I ain't gonna lie to that hundred shots. <laughs> that shit was over. Yeah. He, he just took off after that. That's that why I said he's always. That would make him really just go to the to the top, like to the max. Nah, like, he, like, cause he, he came out with this song and it showed everybody his side, his talent. And we, like, he, he played another type of role, you know what I'm saying? He got that more that laid back through the street yeah. South Memphis flow. Got it, got yeah. that, 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 that straight to the point now Memphis yeah. flow. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But this got but look, in between. You can say he watched everything in the guy. He watched got it. But you can hear it. You really listen to the next, you can kind of hear that guy coming out of him a little. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. He got yeah. the lyrics to go with it. You know what hey, I'm saying? Look, look the, the thing about it, um, like say, like with finesse, like I hear. I don't know if I hear other people in finesse or I hear finesse and other people, you know what I'm saying? But that nigga, like, he he cold, but he he raw. Like, he he uncut, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, hopefully yeah. this nigga get out, and when he get out, he'll get back, you know, he'll be on some, you know what? That street shit is what it is. I'm trying to I'm trying to show what I can do, because that nigga cold, bro. Like, I think, more of my words, though, I think when he jumped out, bro, but Nick's gonna get signed by Jay Prince, bro. I got a feeling Jay Prince them out of the watch. Yeah, you know but, what I'm uh, saying? Jay Prince like real guys. Yeah. He so really I think he's gonna be and they're gonna take him to a whole nother level. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm he saying? Just, he, he just gotta stay out of he just gotta stay out of the bullshit. Yeah. He got he or gotta he, stay uh, out of the way. Or don't let him link up with nobody like Future, because you know for Nick's got this thing in style too. He just never get to this. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Like yeah. There's a lot of stuff that folks don't know about for me that I know. Because me and for yeah. from the side too. But yeah. he can be that next that next guy to carry the toys. They're like I like I like uh Pooh Strikes the more than Big Thunder though. You know what I'm saying? They're just nah, look, look, I like I flow. like I like Pooh Shice though. No, Pooh Shice the hard. Like he the one, he the one. But like me personally, like B third, I don't know. It's something he do on the beat. It feel like they nigga, like I'll be bouncing with that shit. Or they nigga do that shit. Yeah, my my guy say the same thing. Yeah, my guy say yeah. the same thing. Yeah. But uh, you you mess with Scar? You mess with Scar? Yeah, yeah. I fuck. Like, I've been I messed with Scar more recently because like when he first got sent, like I ain't gonna lie, like Scar was a nigga I knew about before he signed with um Gucci, right? But like recently, like I said, like the last three months, that boy just been dropping heat. He just been dropping heat. So I've been fucking with him. But you know, the, you know, then you know when you're dealing with the um the internet, you looking into seeing what niggas really is about. And they like shit, that boy real nicer for real. So it's like you, you, you know, you listen to it and you be like, once you starting to be able to believe at least 50% of what a nigga say, then you can kind of relate to it. Cause like a lot of these niggas be capping, but what I'm seeing is what I just what I know just from being able to dealing with Memphis, 
young niggas ain't capping that much like that. <laughs> you no, I, I was young at the time, bro, and I was I was hot. I just yeah. learned how to like really y'all seeing me grow as I go right now. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Like, oh my! Like, if you look at my my old videos, I'm on this ground like mine. Just talking. I never thought I was gonna get this big though. Yeah, but I just was doing my thing and just kept on making moves. And bam, you know what I'm saying? And everybody in the city hit me up like, "Bro, we see what you're doing." Did it, did it, did it. And it ain't just so many podcasts in the city that's really rocking like I'm rocking. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Yeah, yeah. Calling sure. putting our content. So my. Everything on go, and I'm man, like, I want you to stay up on these uh, like every time. Man, make sure you uh shoot shoot me on Instagram. You know, stand G one thousand. My I Instagram. got you. Hey, look, look. I'm I'm gonna tell you like when I I just I just happen to get on into like like I ain't gonna lie. I ain't no cabin nigga. Like I said, I'm 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 an old nigga. Like I didn't I didn't did the street shit. I got my own business. I'm a plumber. You know what I'm saying? Like rich shit. I got my own business. I got five employees, three trucks. You know what I'm saying? I do my shit. And I ain't in the streets like that no more. But I come from that. But the niggas I relate to, I'm you know just scrolling through the internet, you know what I'm saying, and I see I'm like, oh this nigga don't went live, I fuck with this nigga, let me see what this nigga talking about because like I used to see your videos, you know what I'm saying, and I always come yeah. in there and show love, but I like shit, the nigga went live, I'm a, I'm gonna fuck with this nigga, I'm gonna spend my time to uh to holler at homie, you know what I'm saying, because yeah. I can see what that is, you know what I'm saying, like I uh, I, I can see what that is, you know what I'm saying, and like shit, yeah. I don't nobody want to be fuck with no fuck niggas, I ain't got time to be wasting my time. Just even talking yeah. about shit I like, like Memphis and music to some fuck niggas. Yeah. You feel what I'm saying? Yeah. So anytime yeah. I see you, my nigga, I'm going to get up off it. But anytime I see you going live or whatever you're doing, I'm, I'm going to come support you any way I can. And just keep it real all the time. I got you. And we're going to be like, oh, man. Oh, man. You already oh, know, my guy. You know, hey, salute, you know, bro. My lock me in, bro. And everybody, my energy guy is global, bro. They're with me. Egg, my we egg heads, my energy guy and global, man. And that you already know, my nigga. I'm gonna fuck with you. That was up, my guy. I'm finna get up off this, uh, my I see how I'm locking this uh, right now. I'm gonna bring real big dollars up on this channel. Everybody who mess with me, is y'all mess with the South, man. I'm a hard the South. I love everybody. I'll stay strong, man. Look. Stay out the way, but at the same time, stay dangerous. Y'all know how we rocking. We ain't gonna stop this. I'm gonna start doing something and have a pound up here. You know what I'm saying? At least two, three times a week, man. I'm gonna get y'all just like this. You know what I'm talking about? Live life is our love, man. And that's how we doing it, man. You know what I'm talking about? One time move. Run them lights up, get me hyped up. Y'all already know. Like, subscribe, and open up your eyes. Oh, my.